Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to episode 29 of the Fallout Settlement Guide. In this episode, guys, we are here at Abernathy Farm. Now, a lot of you guys probably didn't know whether we were even going to continue on with the series after the finish of Sanctuary. Uh, we did our final showcase. But don't worry, guys, we're not going anywhere. I'm going to be finishing many, many settlements over the next year or so. And they won't be as full episodes or kind of like a little mini series within the series as Sanctuary was, but we will still try and make them as cool as possible, okay? So Sanctuary was like 28 episodes, these ones will be 3 or 4, and I'm just going to continue moving on from settlement to settlement until they are finished. But I do have some cool ideas for Abernathy Farm, which is just right outside of Sanctuary, and we are going to start doing it right now. So at different settlements, we can do different things. Sanctuary is more like a marketplace. But here, there is a lot, a lot of farmland. So you can tell we are going to do something a bit different here than Sanctuary. And what I have planned is, since there is no real kind of a place to build anything, it's very, very uneven. I'm going to kind of level off all of down this side, okay, using wood. So it will be something like, let's see if I get out these prefabricated ones. It will be something along the lines of using these from right down the bottom. Okay, and I'm just going to connect them all the way as far up as I can. It's going to take a while, so it won't be in this video. I'm going to try to connect them all the way as close as I can get them to go in line with, say, around here. Okay, and that will give me a nice big wooden platform to build on. And if I just replace all of these with just floor, maybe put in some pillars to hold it, or well, make it look, look like it's been piled up, I will still have all of the farmland underneath. Okay? And since there's so many or so much farmland here, I will just assign every single person here to farmland. And that's kind of the way I'm going to be doing it for all the different settlements. I'm just going to build them for what they kind of are. Um, Sanctuary, there wasn't hardly any farmland there, so I couldn't make that into a farm. So that's a marketplace. Here is farmland, so everyone's going to work on the farm. There's not really any water around here. I'm not going to put in any water pumps. Um, there is hundreds and hundreds of water from Sanctuary. So I've set up a supply line and everyone from here can just get their water from Sanctuary. Okay, now I know that's not really the best way for happiness, but I'm not going to build my uh, settlements. And I don't really care around what the happiness is like. I just want the settlements to be cool. So these are, this is going to be farms. And I'm just going to do that for all settlements, be a mixture of either a farm, a marketplace, or if it's not really good for any of those two, it'll just be kind of a, a general settlement with a bit of everything. All right. What I hope to do for around here is in a bit more detail. I will probably get move all this over. I'm going to plant crops all under here, like I said, bring this all the way up. We'll build like a, a little town here on top of that, but I want to completely fill this place in with wall right around all the edges. Okay, and I want to put a roof on the top just to make it look like it's indoors. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I've been here um, three or four times like in the past week or so and every single time they're either being attacked by raiders, there was a group of death claws that came in and killed everyone. I had to restart the game because all of the uh, settlers had been killed. So it just seems like everyone here is open to attack by different things and I don't really want to have hundreds of machine turrets just going around the edge. And I think if we have kind of like this, and then we have like a wall going right up and a roof covering all of this, obviously we'll have to leave a space for this tower, which is going to look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty amazing, just everything on the inside. And obviously I will keep crops on this side. I'll probably put crops on the other side and uh, have some animals on the other side as well. But this place is going to look really, really awesome once it's finished. I, uh, I did go out and collect thousands of materials as you can see but it's still uh, I actually don't have a supply line for here but I do have around 10,000 wood and metal from Sanctuary I need to set up a supply line connecting it to here but yeah so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be uh, making videos every Friday and Sunday I think for Fallout because I do make videos for other things guys and if I get some spare time on Monday Tuesday Wednesday I will also make Fallout videos Alright, so this one was just a little update for what's going to be coming for the next kind of couple of episodes. And on Sunday, you guys will see kind of the start of all this. Hopefully I'll have all this filled in 
and I will start it on my wall. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and you guys can leave in the comments below what other settlement you want me to move on to next. Um, I haven't really explored any other settlements to be honest guys, I haven't even left the area around Sanctuary except to go to Diamond City. So you guys can let me know which settlement you want me to do next. I don't really want to do the uh, castle because um, everyone else kind of dubbed the castle and it's just kind of a bit overdone just now. I will get around to it, but I think I want to uh, just do some littler settlements just now. And hopefully I will do another sanctuary kind of sized one, but somewhere like on the other side of the map. But we will get to that at a later time of the year. Alright guys, I will see you in the next episode.